nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Code video. This is episode number 42 in our series NerdDice.com, where we create a tabletop role-playing management application using Ruby on Rails. And in this video, we're going to do a little bit more. We've been working a lot lately with kind of setting up for the next phase of the project where we actually start building features and everything like that. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is um, touch up our wiki page here a bit to add a user experience interview page and then also to make some fixes in terms of the uh, the pages layout here. So if I come to the wiki and click on it, uh, in a previous video we had created some um, pages here uh, and they are no longer, um, after I saved them, in the hierarchy that I want. So apparently if you change the page of anything away from home, it um, no longer becomes your home page and then uh, kind of a new home page gets generated. So uh, we'll start by fixing that. And then in the uh, after that, we'll create a new page for the wiki once everything we can um, validate that it's in the right place and everything. Um, and all the links and clicks work. Uh, we're going to set up a, where did, there we go. We'll create a new tab for the wiki so that we can toggle back and forth. Uh, we're going to create a user experience interview script. Uh, we're going to do it, adapt it off of uh, the, um, the interview script provided by Steve Krug for, um, in his book, um, rocket surgery made easy, which kind of provides practical do-it-yourself uh, music experience research and um, interviews and all that stuff uh, help for people who are kind of do-it-yourself but not user experience gurus or specialists, of which I would definitely consider myself. So uh, we're going to kind of take this, which is the, the general test script, and we're going to adapt it for our use case here because that's kind of what we're going to do. So we'll start by going to the uh, wiki here and we're going to uh, click edit on this page. We're going to take everything after the Actually, let me see here. We'll just control A, control C, and we will cancel the edit here. Which doesn't seem to have a, just hit the back button. And then we'll go in here and we'll edit this and throw in all of the information we had in the other page here. And we'll try to save it. Now we'll click over and we'll click back. Uh, so that exists. Now I think we can delete this page as a duplicate. And in here we'll make sure that everything still, all the links work. That takes me to the right spot. That takes me to the right spot. That takes me to the right spot. YouTube channel, status code website, and then contributing. And this one I think is broken, so we'll need to 
Yeah. So we need to fix this link here to point to this page. So you can see I I think the the link here doesn't have the and. So I will go back into home edit and change that reference save the page now this should go to the right place and then Now, I think, let me just make sure the other links on these other pages work. Nope. So, go here. Go back to here. YouTube links and then everything else I think is okay so let's see if we can fix the reference here now it should take me to that page, which is what I want. And it doesn't look like this page has any links. So I think we're okay there. And then here, back to this page, create a new page. And I'll pause and write the page and then we'll take a look at it after. All right, I've got a draft of this adapted here. So the, um, the test script here is um, on the Steve Krug's website, sensible.com. I mostly uh, adapted this over onto the, the wiki page. Uh, any of the boxes that show up in the PDF, I kind of tried to make block quotes in the uh, in the wiki. So if you look at the preview um, and then have some notes and variations on whether the test is being performed in person or remote, uh, the test script here assumes that you're going to be in person. It assumes that you've got a bunch of people from your company in an observation room that might be asking follow-up questions or observing the, uh, the interaction. And it assumes that the recording will only be done for the purposes of improving the site. And in this case, in most cases, I would wanna uh, release this as one of the videos for the series so that people can not just learn how to code, but how to do some of the, uh, the other things like user usability research and kind of see somebody else do it. Uh, along those lines, uh, there is a, let me see here, I think, yeah, there's a YouTube in Rocket Surgery Made Easy. I'll uh, link to that in the uh, description of this video. It's uh, worthwhile to kind of see somebody who's really experienced run one of these tests so that you get an idea of what you're going to do. Um, and then uh, again, lots of things like stop the person and hand them, uh, escort them out and things like that, that aren't necessarily uh, going to likely be the, uh, the case in this situation. So uh, we've got this, the, um, it looks okay. It's been adapted for the most part. Um, it's got a reference to the original. Um, 
and I think we can if I could spell script correctly user ability usability scropped we'll save that and then we've got the reference to this that we can go back to our I wonder if I can do a model uh, here. We'll edit this. hyphens save it what did I do Just need to redo it. The link works. And then I think that gives us what we need enough for this particular item. Uh, plan for upcoming stuff is I'm going to run through kind of some user research with myself um, and then we'll uh, I might do a couple of self usability studies on uh, some competitor competitors other existing uh, role-playing game sites to kind of get some input and stuff like that and then we'll do the retrospective uh, as I'll note in the retro I'm not great at scheduling things or people so um, I've kind of had continued work on this site blocked by the fact that I'm not a great uh, appointment scheduler. So we'll talk about that more in the uh, retrospective, but ideally I'm going to uh, try to do that more asynchronously rather than having it be a blocker. And I know enough about the subject matter to, uh, to start um, getting our backlog populated and uh, starting to work on wireframes and data design and features and all that other stuff. So, uh, we will go in here. Uh, we'll link to the, get the link to the script. Add comment. page and it's fixed and all right and close as completed And then back on our project that has moved to done and we will see you in the next video. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Welcome to the stateless code video. This is, I don't even remember.
you know, I'm going to stop and restart. Thanks for watching this stateless code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code, and taxation is theft.